Baby, ¿dónde vamos? Supermercado. Which? ¿Cómo se llama? Mercadona. Sí. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm be taking you with me on a little trip to Mercadona. We're gonna do a grocery shop for the week. I haven't done a grocery shop for about two weeks and whenever I do do one, I find that my diet is so much better. I'm not snacking and I save a lot of money. So we're gonna get a very healthy food shop today. I'm gonna try and avoid processed sugar. Me and Cindy have been watching a documentary on Netflix where the twins eat a carnivore diet and a plant-based diet and it kind of just encouraged me to start eating better. My physique, is transforming like crazy at the minute because of no alcohol. And I think if I can just cut out the sugar, cut out the biscuits, the cookies, the cereal, all of that stuff, I will look even better in the next month or so. Ajo, cebolla, patatas. Next, tomatoes are special. Apples, manzanas, kiwis, bananas, big box of blueberries. Six euros 49 for these, so pretty expensive. We're also gonna get my favorite. Pina, strawberries, which is fresher. Romaine, lettuce, Romana, lettuce. Two nice avocados. Peppers, I like that name for carrots. It's a good name. Sana Aureus, this is all fruits and vegetables. Cindy's asking me how do, I, how do I choose the best piece of salmon? And I'm gonna go based on its color. So a nice bright orangey red color means that the fish is fresh, means that it's nutritious, means it's gonna taste the best. Frozen berries for smoothies and for porridge. Also guys, if you wanna cop one of these t-shirts, this just dropped in VQ. They come in four different colors. I tried them all on on Instagram. I really like the designs, oversized fit. I'm wearing a large. I would probably size down to a medium now because I have lost a bit of weight, but this one's my favorite, Heather Gray. Use code Louis for discount. As always, oh, it's funny, Cindy doesn't like sauce, but I love mayonnaise, ketchup, sweet chili. Cindy's quite healthy, she's from Venezuela. Chili dulce, my second favorite, yogurt. We need some sauce in our life. I think we should get this for the salmon. Me and Mike always used to cook salmon and vegetables in this, back in the day. Getting lots of funny looks. We're just doing a little bit of shopping, guys. Nothing to see here. Okay, one thing that me and Cindy absolutely love is wraps. Yeah. They're literally so good. We're gonna get... Fendi like beef one, for beef are more healthy. I don't actually think they are more healthy. I think they're both not really that healthy at all, but doesn't matter. Sometimes I put this on my mints, on the carne. No, 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 no. I always get this, salsa, low calories. It's a nice little sauce for wraps and it's delicious, a little bit spicy. Piquito picante. Pickles. These are good for when if you're running to get the salt back in your system, you can drink the juice of the pickle, really. Similar to electrolytes, natural electrolytes from the pickles. Okay, next. No cerveza. 50 days sober. We're doing well, we're doing well team, we're doing well. No, I don't like that tuna in the house. I like this tuna, it's more expensive because it's with olive oil. It's a little bit more calories, just make sure to drain it, otherwise there is a lot of calories in this. But tuna and olive oil, that's my go-to. Agua the coconut. Normally, I would buy these, but we've already got them in the house. Chia seeds, very good source of omegas, good fats. Sprinkle these on your porridge and on your yogurt, very nice. Agua con gas, this is essential. Means that you have this every night before we go to bed. I really do think it makes a difference. Right guys, this is literally my idea of heaven. Chocolate pick, chocolate crispies, but I'm gonna not get them today because whenever I eat cereal, I don't know if it's the milk or if it's the cereal, if it's the processed carbohydrates, but every time I eat it, I feel immediately very bad, like I want to go to sleep forever. So we're not gonna buy breakfast cereal today. We've been drinking a lot of milk, so we'll get this one. Mucho milk. Cindy loves milk. Don't you? One thing that I never realized as an adult is how expensive being an adult is. And butter is so expensive. I don't know why. This one? That's it, it's good, high in protein. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace my normal snack of cereal with yogurt, fruit, and honey. Oh my God. This is literally the absolute best, to be honest. We've been living off these ever since we came to Spain. So, so, so delicious. This is what we've got so far. No puedo, I no can. <laughs> no puedo. Yeah, no puedo. I love bagels. This is thick, this is thick. Do not buy this. I mean, croissants, they're not the most healthy. Probably shouldn't be eating them, but we are. You have to live a little. The mince isn't really that good in Mercadona. So we're gonna get burger meat. 
it's higher quality. I'm gonna get these, two of these, basmati rice, nice and easy. Take them in the microwave, one minute, bingo. Full organic chicken, right? And then you get these, it's like a bag with seasoning. So you coat the chicken in the seasoning, and then you put it in the bag, you put it in the oven. For a full chicken like that, around two hours. And it's literally absolutely unbelievable. Like the best ever. This, this is what we want. A little bit more expensive, but it's more delicious. And it's a different color, because it's corn fed, I assume. I mean, the quality of eggs, once again, in Mercadona isn't the highest quality. So we're just gonna get these ones for now. I like to go to a different supermarket, Supercore, to get high quality, organic, free range eggs. I think these two are better. Little nuggets. Oh, cheese, I like cheese. I actually don't really know what cheese I like. I'm gonna go with this one. How much do you think it's gonna cost? 150. Right, I think it's gonna be uno, ocho, zero. What? Uno cinco zero. Uno cinco zero, you think? And I think uno ocho zero. Okay, vamos. Bang! Why am I happy? Also, yeah, I'm happy because we've got lots of food and I'm always starving. Because I'm running every day, I'm going to the gym every day, I'm going to the sauna every day. So I'm always hungry. And when there's no food in the house, I feel sad. Right guys, so turns out I was right. 180 euros and 60 cent. And guess what? I had the cash exactly. This is the worst part of the shopping is carrying it all back to the house. You don't need to do anything. I'm the man around here. I do everything. Cook, clean, work. Everything, me. Hey folks, so I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Now, I literally showed Ronaldo the video of me and Mercadona, and I said, do you think there's anything I can add to this video? So I'm quickly smashing this out right now. I'm giving you an example meal plan of what I would eat from Monday to Friday. Shout out to Ronaldo for the idea. And I literally had to go to the supermarket and buy a whiteboard, which I love this whiteboard, so what a vibe. So Monday to Friday, I normally try and eat around 2,500 calories. Most days I fast until around 1 or 2 p.m. That means black coffee, electrolytes, water, sparkling water. Um, and then I have my first meal around 2 o'clock. My first meal is normally a light meal because I find if I eat something very heavy, very high in calories, then I kind of lose concentration and I get a bit sluggish in the afternoon. So. Breakfast is always normally eggs in some form. So whether that's scrambled eggs, omelet, breakfast burrito, smoked salmon eggs, I always start with eggs and then probably like a smaller carb, so carb sauce, bagels, fruit, whatever it is. Next, after I've done a good majority of my work, so probably around four or five, I would have a nice big snack. So a snack could be anything from an oat bowl, a yogurt bowl, a fruit bowl, bagel, jam, peanut butter, and then a protein sauce. So that could be some chicken, that could be a protein shake, that could be a protein bar. Um, and that snack can go from 500 to 1,000 calories, depending on what it is. I have made oat bowls in the past, which are upwards up close near to 1,000 calories. Whereas if I had a fruit bowl, it would probably be only 100 or 200 calories. Next, for dinner, I try and have a big source of protein. So for example, on Monday, we have roasted salmon with teriyaki sauce. Tuesday we've got steak, Wednesday we've got roast chicken breast with garlic and lemon in them little bags that I showed you in the supermarket. Thursday, ground beef taco bowl. <laughs> Sorry, ground beef taco bowl and Friday chicken wrap. And then again, after I've had that big meal, I finish it off with something a little bit sweeter because I do have a very big sweet tooth. So a protein shake, chocolate chip cookie from Ghost. You know the drill, Ghost protein shakes are the absolute best. I recommend the cinnamon, Cinnabon, whey protein, and I recommend the chalk chip cookie. They're my two favorite flavors. Then I've got Greek yogurt and fruit, protein shake with frozen berries. If I have the protein sh shake with the frozen berries, I normally blend it with mixed frozen berries. <laughs> Sorry, that's a mouthful. Um, again, the, just the Mercadona protein yogurts are really good. 
And as you can see, that bigger meal is closer to around 1,000 calories. And if I'm not hitting 2,500, I will have other snacks throughout the day, whether I'm going on the way to the gym, in the garage, or whatever it is. But typically, I'm eating around 2,500 calories per day. And it's good because now I'm not drinking alcohol. My calories before, before when I was drinking beers every day, were probably upwards of around 3,500 calories just in alcohol. So yeah, this is a little breakdown. I hope you enjoyed the video. Shout out to Ronaldo for the idea and I'll see you guys tomorrow.